the red corner. We've got Rob Hardman from the Everyone Fight Factory in Bury, Harewood. And in the blue corner, we've got Mr. Dean Croft from the Multi Masters Academy right here in York. corner Mr. Rob Hardman is a short stocky powerhouse from the far side of the Pennines in his corner is supported by Andy Thrasher the two times world champion tie boxer I'm expecting his hands to be very good I'm expecting his striking to be very good He's coming out neutral touch of gloves let's get on with the action Paul feeling one another out before the action starts both men settle into the, uh, the fight. Yeah, you can certainly see uh, Rob's Thai roots there. Yeah, Rob, Rob stand, standing up, upright, throwing his shots, keeping his chin down. Nice relax with the hands. Over under clinch against the fence. Brilliant. Brilliant. Nice. Brilliant. Nice little take down there, taking, taking that standing leg. Two different series. Um, Rob is using the shoulder into the uh, head of Dean, which is why he's able to have his posture low. He's putting pressure on, on, his, uh, on Dean's head. Dean's triangling his legs, taking half guard. Dean really needs to work more from that. It, it, it's a bit of a static position that uh, is shown by now, now, now Rob's taking full mount position. And switching to Scarf. Scarf hold. A Jude open. Rob, look at, Rob looking to straighten that arm out for an arm bar, I think. Yeah, it does look like Rob has a, a judo sort of heritage. He used a, a bit of an off balance trip there, sweep, and he's now using Scarf hold to go for a submission. Is it, it looks like he's straight, straightening that arm out, looking to. Looking to armbar, work that armbar. That's it. He's, notice how he's triangling his legs, straightening the arm arm out, pushing his hips forwards, looking for that armbar. Yeah, Dean's doing well to he's defend. Not quite, this. not quite getting it. Dean bridging and posturing up. This is quite an easy one to get out of. You all you have to do really is twist twist your arm. Rob here really trying to put some pressure on the elbow. Uh, to be honest, you know, Dean's f flailing around there. Yeah, Dean, Dean trying to kick across, across his back. He can't, can't really work too well from underneath. He'd be much better off like that, holding his waist and bridging back over the other way, which would reverse Rob into uh, side control. He's, he's, all, he's almost getting that now, taking, taking his left hip underneath. Rob's now trying to squeeze his head off. <laughs> I think that's a technical move. No, it's always take it. That's, that's a it. beautiful bridge there. But Rob, he should Rob. have capitalised on that to shrimp out. And Rob takes full mount position. Isolating that arm on the far side. He's going for an arm triangle. Yeah. He's, he should have escaped. Dean should have escaped that. He's not in a, a good position there to finish the submission. It does look like he's got a lot of pressure on his head. Yeah, Rob's, say, Rob's taking that left shoulder forwards really well into, into Dean's face. Yeah. Keep, keeping that pressure on. Yeah, using the shoulder of justice there to good effect. It looks like Rob has a good base. Again, perhaps from, from a judo background. Uh, Dean... Looking a little out of his depth here, you know, mount escapes should be, you know, things that you drill time and time again. 
especially as you move up the ranks to, to pro MMA. Uh, pro MMA, you're obviously allowed to hit an elbow in the head from the mount position. So, no, it's how, how Rob's also also looking to put that forearm across the uh, across Dean's throat, possibly looking for a, a, a choke or limit limit the airways there. Yeah. Dean pushes out really arm well, he's got arm his armbar. Arm he's got the armbar. That's think that's it. No, no, he's slipping out. He's, he's, slipping he's gone beyond. Out. He's gone beyond his hips. For an armbar to be tight and to finish, you need the elbow uh, in below the hips. But Dean's done it really, really well. Yeah, he's now he's now looking for for a, a leg lock, but of course, in certain twisting leg locks you're not allowed in semi-pro MMA. They're and both that, back up on the feet. Rob <laughs> smiling. <laughs> and they smile at each other. That's beautiful to see. Rob stiff jab slips slightly. Dean going in trying to pressurize him, throws a knee. Yeah, you can see there Rob trying to throw. Yeah, looking for looking for the upon seeing Aggie the. Uh, yeah, Rob just, throw. Rob just quickly asking the referee if he's allowed a leg lock there and unfortunately he's not allowed the heel hook in semi-professional MMA beautiful rolling from these two guys yeah I mean Rob really needs to be getting in close using you know them sort of pins Rob looking in fantastic shape. You know those guys, those guys over there at uh, Everyone Fight Factory have a great facility. Been over there a couple of times to train with Andy Thrasher. Oh. Went for the low click, slipped and missed. Rob should have capitalised on that. But Dean straight to clinch over under clinch. A mistake there in my opinion. Rob's too strong in the clinch. Yeah, you, you can see Rob, Rob's pin here. It, the, Dean, you know, it, he's hanging in well, but he is struggling from that bottom position. Yeah, Rob, Rob seems really comfortable with, the, with his grappling, obviously because of his judo background. I'll be, I'll be tell it, telling Dean to, to basically just try to tie it, tie it up, call a referee and try, try and encourage the referee to, to break the clinch. Yeah, he should, you know, his hips are up there. He should be capitalising on that escaping. He should be drilling his basic stand-ups, really. All he has to do is switch that leg back, he's stood up. You see Rob's hips aren't putting enough pressure on him. He, you know, he's able to get legs and hips in. You know, he, he could go switch to butterfly sweeps. There's a whole load of techniques you, you could be using from there. If a... Uh, if Dean simply put his butterfly hook in there and chopped down his uh, Rob's left leg, you know, he could get a sweep quite easily because a lot of Rob's weight is over over his uh, over on Dean. Rob keeping that pressure on, keeping Dean pinned up against the cage. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Dean's, you know, inexperience in the cage is showing because he's trying to grab. Rob's head, whereas he should be working on the cage walks. Turn into him, Dean. Yeah, you can you can see there that Rob's, you know, totally comfortable on the ground, switching from pin to pin, moving quite easily around. He's probably going to look for an arm triangle or an arm bar from here. He's going to hit him, so he raises his arms, trap an arm, and take it. There he goes. I think he's just working for working for Dean's left arm, getting to push it, push out. Yeah, Dean should be keeping his arms in very tight in this position, you know, or bridging uh, and booking Rob forward so his, his weight's forward and using the sweep. There we go. It was just a matter of time before the arm triangle. You know, he, he'll probably switch his hips through here now, Rob, and finish off with a tight arm triangle. Yeah, there, we there we go. There we go. Great performance by Rob. A sound solid uh, ground game. Yeah, great, great judo performance. 
potentially one to watch for the future. Definitely, with, definitely. With Andy Thrasher working on his striking, you know, second to none with the striking there, and with a, a strong pin like that, he could definitely want to watch for the future. Very spirited performance put in by Dean. Great performance, great show. Uh, a presentation done by uh, Big Stu of Ebor Gym, who won Mr. UK Bodybuilding. Yeah, I think, did he, I think he was number eight in Mr. Universe as well last, last month. Yeah, he tells me pre uh, in a previous conversation he's off to Brazil for the World Championships this year. Great performance there by, uh, by Rob Hardman. Not content with enough slamming, he goes again. <laughs> I wonder, um, I wonder how much bench. Uh, how much, how much do you benches? How much do you reckon? I can't. 